Hi guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. My name is Eno. So in today's video, I'll be talking about Python modules. Python provides for uh, a way of breaking down big chunks of code into smaller pieces of code. Uh, mainly, this is done in cases where you have code that does a specific function. Like for instance, you could have code that just deals with time, or you could have code that just deals with uh, math calculations. And you can just group this code into um, Python modules. So the modules are then packaged into Python packages, and then the packages can also, can also be packaged into uh, Python libraries. Uh, in essence, a module is nothing but a, but a Python file that ends with the .py. Once you have a module created, you can share it with other programmers. You can also import other programmers' modules into your code and use their functions. So we'll start with an example here. I'm gonna I'm importing math, the math module, which normally has like functions for doing calculations. So this is one of the way of, that you can import the math module or any other module. So you just say import and then the name of the module. And then to use the functions, you just, you'll have to use the prepend that name of the module. And then you'll have, if VS code is listing all the functions that are available, you have remainder, you have scene, you have a pie. So if you, let's say you wanna do a, raise something into some, uh, an integer into some power, say two to the power three, you can use this function POW, and that should raise it to the power three, and then you can print this out. By running the code, and that should be eight. So let's see here, which is right here. Another way to import a, um, a module, you can import just, this approach imports all the functions, but if I say I wanted to import just this PO, POW function, I can say uh, from, from the math module, import POW, and then when it comes to use it, in this case, you don't have to prepend this module name, you can just use POW directly. Um, another way to import, you can import the, the, the module and, and give it a name. Like maybe a, you, you want you, the, the name of the module is long and you want to use a, a shorter name. You can say import, import mat, then you can say as, say MT or MH. And then you can use it. So when you use it here, you have to prepend again that name you assigned it and then use it. And if you run your code, you should get the same value, eight. Uh, the third way that you will see uh, people importing is uh, they'll import everything. So they'll say, from math import and then they'll put a star and what this does is it's going to import everything from math the math function i mean the math module and what it allows you to do is you can call the functions here without prepending with this uh the name of the module However, this approach, uh, if you have so many functions you're using in your code and uh, you import using this technique, it can be hard for somebody reading the code to, to figure out which module you're using, uh, where that function came from. I believe I've covered the uh, four different ways you can import a module and then use it. Like I said earlier, a module is nothing but a Python file inside of which you'll find like functions and classes and stuff like that. Um, you can create your own module on, and then use it in uh, any of your other programs. Uh, all you need to do is make sure that it's in the same folder. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, show an example here of uh, creating your own um, 
module, which, like I said, is a, nothing but a Python file. Inside the module, we have a function. And then we'll import that module into another file and use that function. So we'll create a new file here. We'll call it my function.py. Then here, I'll create a function inside this module. So this is the module, my function.py. And here, I'm going to have a, a function that just does multiplication. So I'll call it um, my multiplier. It's going to take two, it's going to have two parameters here. And then we do a multiplication of those two parameters, and then we return return the product. Okay, now we have here the file, which is also a module. We'll create another file and then import import this my function module into it. So in the same folder, the same module example folder, I have my function.py module or file, and then I'll create another file, Python file. This is going to be test, my test.py. So inside my test, I'll import my function. I'm importing this module here. Then I'll use the assign a variable to a result of using that function. So that's the module, and it's got my multiplier here. I'll give it a five and say 100, and I'll print that product. That should be 500, go ahead and print it. As you can see, we got 500. So that's pretty much it for this video. That's how you create your own module and then use it in your code. I hope this information has been useful. I'll see you all in my next video. Thanks. Bye.